You know, these liberal singers said, actually, vote for me. You know, they all vote for me. They say, oh, Trump, I don't know. You know, like Bruce Springsteen. We have a much bigger crowd than Bruce Springsteen, right? Much bigger. Oh, damn. I mean, I knew that Donald Trump was doing a rally in New Jersey, but a bigger crowd than Bruce Springsteen, who I think has some tangential relationship with New Jersey. That is a bold claim. And hey, maybe it's true. I mean, you know, he's a popular politician or whatever. Maybe it's true. Or, you know, maybe the crowd looked a little bit more like this. A tender hearted poor half frozen snake. His pretty colored skin had been all frosted with the dew. Poor thing, she sighed. Now, look, I love that video for two reasons. Because one, no, that is not bigger than a Springsteen crowd, you ass. Two, actually, three things. Two, you see the stream of people leaving while Donald Trump is still talking over it. And three, you understand why they're leaving because he's talking about dew on a snake or something. What are you talking about, Trump, you maniac? Now, look, that is not a nothing crowd. It's a little bit of a flat shot, so it's hard to see. But there, there's there's a good amount of people there. I would guess at least 20,000 people were there, which is not nothing. That's a big crowd. And honestly, I don't know if Joe Biden would have drawn a 20,000 strong crowd, but it was not Bruce Springsteen scale. Bruce Springsteen fans reminded everyone online that he sold out MetLife Stadium three days in a row. It's 84,000 seats. That is nothing like it. And Donald Trump isn't satisfied to just make a like a vague assertion that he's bigger than Springsteen. He then decides to make up a number to put to it. Take a look at this. I think we're probably leaving in New Jersey. We had a rally over 100,000 people this weekend. A lot of the mainstream media didn't want to say how many people they didn't want to cover. Uh, but uh, in fact, I don't think anybody did. I, I hear the, the crowd was not shown by the mainstream media, which is what they tell me. But that's part of the course. Yeah, well, we showed the crowd. I'm telling you that now. And by the way, so he says 100,000 people, okay? And he's gonna use that number again in a second. Um, we're gonna win New Jersey. Biden won New Jersey by 16 points in 2020. It was not remotely close. So why say something like that? You say something like that, you make that insane claim months out from the election to begin to prep everyone on your side to not believe anything that happens in the election. Mm. Hey, I'm glad you're here. Listen, in order for the damage report to keep on going, we need viewers like you to become a member on YouTube. Can you click the join button on YouTube today? Thank you. Mm. I don't mean like I lost Arizona by 10,000 votes. That's pretty close. No, question New Jersey, question Connecticut, question New York. It doesn't matter if he loses by 10 points, 20 points. Question every single one of them because I am I have a bigger crowd than Bruce Springsteen. That's what yeah. he would have them believe, Francesca. Yeah, absolutely. Now now do Taylor Swift, huh? No, but it's just so, <laughs> like why pick a losing battle? You know what I mean? It's just so ridiculous to just go after Bruce Springsteen randomly and just like, oh no, like, like, like it just, Preposterous again, and but you're totally right that months and months out, and it is why I truly want to duck under this entire election season like a like a wave or like have someone put me into like John I don't know some cryogenic sleep situation, um, wake back up you know like and uh, fall out like and fall out thank you um, <laughs> that's a that's a pew pew right um, mm -hmm. it's a pew pew I would I would like that because if we think that 2020 was um, wild and clownish and ridiculous, 2024 is going to be so much worse because they have to go bigger. You think they're going to go smaller unless they win outright, right? But if they lose or if it's close, which I believe it will be close, they have to just make it even crazier. So of course they're going to win New Jersey, which we've got polls showing that Trump is leading in all these swing states. You don't even need New Jersey to win, yeah. but exactly to your point. And then final thought, when you see the crowd and it's like at the boardwalk, it reminds you of kind of like, it's like a, it's it's a little bit of like a freak show. Like, oh, there, there there's the, you know, the bearded mm -hmm. lady situation. Like it's like it's like you're just sort of milling about, ah, he's on his fascism thing. He might be president anyway. And it you kind of Yeah. I feel I, I'm you know, I feel like the Fuhrer had more of a captive audience than this. Yeah, like they wander over whatever. And again, fine crowd. 
10, 15, 20,000 people, maybe. Like officials had said that the beach could maybe do 20,000, not 80,000, not 100,000, you crazy person. And they wander up and then it's like, oh, he's doing his thing about the whales dying. Ugh, I've heard that before. I'm gonna go home and watch Hannity. Exactly. And I also remind <laughs> you, by the way, and I shouldn't need to point this out. But if you are claiming that you are bigger, that you draw a bigger crowd than Bruce Springsteen, and every right winger is mimicking this, and they're all saying it. Not only did you objectively have a far, far, far smaller crowd, do you get that people have to pay to go to Springsteen? A Trump rally's free. It's not the same thing. Yeah. It's like saying a mall generated a crowd or whatever. Like it's not a three, four, five hundred dollar ticket to go, you crazy maniac. But anyway, I want to get to just one more video of how sad of a person is. Because again, it can never be enough drawing maybe 20,000 people, which is good for a politician, okay? Can't be enough. It has to be bigger, fictionally bigger. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.